just days after Nile Niami's 105,000 square foot mega mansion, The One, sold at auction for $141 million, the buyer of the home was revealed, and the news is not exactly what people had expected. The buyer's name is Richard Sagian. He is the CEO of a billion dollar fashion clothing company, and as a guy who's been known to be pretty private in the past, he is definitely in the spotlight now for buying one of the largest, most expensive, and controversial homes on the planet. I'm not gonna lie, I thought we were done talking about the one here on this channel, at least for a little bit, but I had quite a few requests come in asking me to cover this update. There's not much to it. This video is going to be a lot shorter than usual, but here's the scoop. So we first got to talk about who Richard Sagian is and how he was able to afford a $141 million home in Bel Air. Richard is a 40-year-old billionaire based out of Southern California, and he made his fortune as the founder and CEO of a very popular clothing company, Fashion Nova. Richard founded the company back in 2006 after he was introduced to the fashion industry from his father who also owned women's clothing stores himself. And when he founded Fashion Nova originally, the company started with selling inexpensive club wear type clothing in brick and mortar stores, prior to starting to sell online in 2013. If you browse the Fashion Nova website now, it still has that edgy clubwear vibe to the style and they cater primarily to women, but the company did start offering men's clothing as well in 2018. By that same year, around 2018, Fashion Nova was reportedly one of the most searched fashion brands on the internet, right next to the other big names like Louis Vuitton and Gucci. And at the time they were, and still remain to this day, a privately held company owned outright by Richard Sagian. It's not 100% clear what the revenues are of Fashion Nova since they're privately held, but I found several reports that say that annual sales top a billion dollars at this point, and they have grown into a fashion giant, dropping upwards of 900 unique items per week that they regularly post on their Instagram feed. Speaking of Instagram, the Fashion Nova brand is much more popular than the CEO himself. They boast 21 million followers on Instagram, as their feed is loaded with their clothing worn by models and influencers. And compare that to Rich's Instagram with only 95,000 followers and only a handful of posts. I totally get the allure of a budget clothing brand myself, so I understand why Fashion Nova has become so successful. Most of my clothing is from H&M and Target, and everything I'm wearing right now probably costs about 100 bucks in total at the most. Even though Richard is only 40 years old, he has already built a nice little real estate portfolio for himself himself out in California, so the one just makes for the icing on the cake. Back in 2018, he bought a house in the Hollywood Hills Bird Streets for $17.5 million in cash from the late DJ who went by the name Avicii. This house is pretty awesome. It was built back in 2008. It sits at around 7,000 square feet. It was designed by Paul McLean, who's the same architect who designed the one, and it is loaded with six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The place is a glass box, pretty much like any other modern mansion in the LA area, but it's pretty private based on the way that it sits on the lot. It has a movie theater, a clean contemporary finish package, some really interesting lines, which kind of create some oddly shaped rooms, and then of course it's got views as far as you can see. This house of Richard's, which I believe is still where he lives today, made headlines this last year, but not for the reason that you would expect. So the story goes that some armed robbers followed Richard home to this house in his Rolls Royce and attempted an armed robbery when he got home, which resulted in a shootout between the robbers and Robert's bodyguard, leaving one of the suspects dead. But moving on to a more positive note, Richard bought another home last year, this one in Malibu, he paid $14.7 million for this house, and he picked it up from Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos. The Malibu home is just as awesome as the Hollywood Hills home. It might not have city views, but it sits right on the beach, so you're just looking out over the sand and the sea, which is pretty amazing. It is smaller at only 3,800 square feet, but it feels larger due to the high ceilings, the walls of windows, and then the private balconies. The house has a noticeably different style than Richard's Hollywood Hills home as well, with red brick around the pool, a Mediterranean style inside and out, 
lush courtyards that almost transport you, and of course, views of the ocean from every room. With these other two homes in Richard's portfolio only costing about $15 million a piece, this purchase of the one for $141 million marks a pretty big step up for him. Speaking of the one, we have already had a few updates since the last video that I posted the other day, so let's talk about it. According to the concierge auctions recap email that they sent out yesterday, there were over 200,000 website views for this house, 3,000 potential prospects, 40 showings, and five bidders the day of the auction. And remember, here towards the end, just to be shown this property, you needed to be a qualified buyer. So the fact that there were 40 total showings on this home was actually really impressive, but tells me that there was definitely international interest. We covered the nail-biting moments of the one auction in my last video, and if you remember, the winning bidder already had made two prior bids, so that shows that Richard Sagian really wanted this place. And now that we know that Richard Sagian is a fan of Paul McLean architecture, because he lives in a Paul McLean home, the fact that Paul McLean designed the one was probably part of the draw for him. Another thing though, you know the one is going to make for an awesome place for him to host events for his company Fashion Nova, whether that's for photo shoots in the lawn, fashion shows in the entertainment wing, or parties for influencers downstairs in the nightclub. Richard was quoted in an email saying, the one Bel Air is a once in a lifetime property that can never be duplicated. There is nothing else like it as a lifelong Angelino and avid collector of real estate, I recognized this rare opportunity that also let me own a unique property that is destined to be a part of Los Angeles history. Okay, and side note really quick, is it just me or are you guys wondering what the heck an Angelino is too? Apparently an Angelino is a native or inhabitant of Los Angeles. That's pretty sad that I didn't know this guys. I was born in California myself. Anyways, the listing agent Brandon Williams commented on the auction as well and he said it's an incredible deal no one understands until they get up there. A house like this will never be built again. Whenever it sells again, it will be for even more. I guess it was the Williams agent along with another agent named Stuart Vetterick of Hilton and Highland represented Richard in this transaction. All of them stand to make a fortune in commissions if this deal actually closes. I say if this deal actually closes because even though Richard technically is the winner of this auction, it still is pending court approval before the sale is finalized. The court is going to look at Richard and his financials, they're going to look at the creditors and all the people who are still owed money, and then they'll make a final decision on whether or not he is actually approved to buy this house. Speaking of creditors, the developer Niall Niami just filed a claim saying that he is owed $44.4 million on the deal based on his own money that he dumped into the transaction. A lot of you guys have asked down in the comments about how much Niall Niami dumped of his own money into this build. There you have it. it looks like he dumped about $44 million into it, which means he stands to lose about $44 million if this sale to Richard gets approved. If you enjoyed the update today, guys, if you could hit that thumbs up button down below before you go, that really helps my channel out a lot. And don't forget to click subscribe as well if you're not already a subscriber because I'm putting new videos out every week, but that's all I've got for you guys this time. So until next time, see ya.